So I just got uh, the two post rack mount kit for the 7150 compact switch and I just thought I'd show you that. Sometimes it's difficult to see uh, exactly what it's going to look like um, or how it installs from the documentation. So uh, it obviously comes in a box but um, I took it out of the box already. So single bag. Inside the bag we have uh, two ears. So these are extension ears, right? So they're going to extend out from the sides of the switch uh, for a 19 inch rack. Um, it, come, it also comes with rack screws and, uh, and rack nuts if you need those, uh, but we're not going to use those today. So it just comes with four small screws to screw those on to the, to the mounting holes. So um, where that's going to mount to is uh, on the sides of the switch here, there is two mounting holes at the front, which are the normal ones. Uh, you could mount it on the back as well. So um, should you wish to rear mount or mid mount the switch in a rack, uh, something like that, you could certainly use those mid ones. Um, but the vast majority of people, of course, use the front mount. So it's just gonna mount you know, onto the holes like so. But you could, you could use the rear ones as well, right? There's, there's nothing to say that you cannot do that. But mount those on here. Just two screws on each side is enough to hold the switch in place. It's really not that heavy of a, of a device, so you don't have to worry about the back sagging down or anything like that. There's those two. Flip it over. Grab my other ear here. And there it is, easy as that. So the switch will now mount very nicely in a 19 inch rack. So not very deep, as you can see, but again, you could have put those rack ears, you know, on the back here and mounted it, uh, mid mounted it or rear mounted it in, the, in a rack. That's just fine too. So, okay, so that's it. Just wanted to show you what that two post rack looks like on the 7150 compact switch. Thanks very much.